My name is Leah. I'm the Director of Product Marketing here at Encircle. Um, and with me is Sean Coughlin. He is the Director of Product Management at Encircle. Um, and what we're going to be doing today is a really quick 30-minute um, webinar that covers day one documentation. So we're looking at visual documentation for um, that workflow from when you first arrive on the job site until you create a report before you even leave the, leave the property um, and how you can leverage Encircle's capabilities um, to, um, to create that really efficient and, and professional workflow um, and output. We're going to cover um, some of the Encircle camera features. Um, we've done a few updates over the last year. We want to make sure that everybody is aware of these updates and able to take advantage of them and make their, their documentation workflows even more efficient. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to dive into this day one documentation workflow. Sean's going to take you through a live demo documenting his property um, and creating a report from that. And we're going to talk to you about how to leverage those features as part of that documentation workflow. I'm going to show you how to create that initial inspection report. Um, we're going to touch a little bit on what's next in the future um, for photos in the camera um, in the end circle roadmap. And then, like I said, we'll take some questions um, at the end. So next slide. So what we want you to learn today, like I mentioned, we want you to understand how to efficiently use the Encircle mobile app for that day one documentation and get the most out of the documentation tools that are in Encircle. Um, I know that there's folks that are, are on the webinar today who are not currently using Encircle. So hopefully you also get an opportunity to see what it's all about um, and how, how great we are at that visual documentation uh, workflow. Um, for everyone, we want you to be able to, um, or we want you to want to use video um, coming out of this to provide a guided walkthrough with expert commentary. Once one thing that Encircle really feels strongly about is that video is a critical component of that day one um, initial inspection workflow. And so Sean's going to show you how to do that and the benefits of doing that in Encircle. Um, and like I said, we want you to be able to create an initial inspection report before even even leaving the property. And before you leave today, we are going to um, share with you the report that Sean is gonna to create today. So you'll have that in your hands um, as well today. Okay, so Encircle camera features. Um, so on the, on the left column here, you can see the Encircle features in the mobile app that make capturing visual documentation easier. Um, so capturing those photos and organizing those photos in the mobile app. Um, so Sean's gonna take you through overview photos and videos. So that's sort of standing in the, in, in the corner of a room, capturing photos from left to right or videos. Um, so how to do that in the Encircle app. Photo and video notes where you can get sort of more specific, more up close, more detailed photos, um, either generally or within a room. Um, plus we've also re recently introduced note templates. And I think that it's a really great feature for getting consistency from your field. So you can set up these note templates at um, the organizational level. They're available to everyone in the field so they know exactly what they need to capture when they're in that, in that situation. Um, so we'll walk you through those note templates. Photo markup is our latest release. allows you to draw, write, circle, put an arrow on different things in that um, on a photo to capture those, those details and point out areas of interest. We've also um, released Room Selector, which just adds to that efficiency. So if you're you know, documenting the bathroom, like Sean's gonna show you, um, and you wanna start documenting in the, um, in, the on, or sorry, in the hallway, you can easily switch from bathroom to hallway without having to go back out and back in. It's just right on the camera screen. Um, we've got Photo Preview Mode, which depending on how you wanna take photos, allows you to either take rapid fire photos or review every photo um, every time you take it. Um, a wide angle photo, if you've got a, an Apple device, um, you can take wide angle photos in our application. If you've got an Android device, you can use the volume control to capture. So there's a lot of things that people may not know about um, with our camera. So just some, some quick things to, to drive efficiency and make capturing photos and videos easier in Encircle. Um, and then the features that make organizing that documentation easier that we do. Um, we organize everything by room. Um, so Sean will take you through creating those rooms. We automatically label the photos. So you don't have to spend hours after the fact changing the names of, of photos um, to get them organized. We automatically label them. 
We also automatically add that metadata, so time, date, user, geolocation. Um, those are some new things that are in the in the last couple of uh, in the last year or so is adding that GPS data. So that data integrity, so you always know what time, what date, who took that photo, and exactly where that photo was taken. So you have that proof to justify um, when that photo or where that photo came from. Um, and then, of course, our reports um, and servo reports, um, there's some magic to them. So Sean's going to share that with you as well. So I'm going to stop talking um, and Sean is going to go to the next slide. If you are an Encircle customer, you've got your Encircle app. Um, I would encourage you to open it up right now and follow along uh, with what Sean's doing. Um, it's a great way to learn and just to see exactly what he's doing in real time. So if you've got that, open it up right now. All right, over to Perfect. you, Sean. Thanks, Leah. Uh, hi, everyone. John Coughlin. As Leah said, I'm the Director of Product Management here at NCircle. So my team is responsible for listening to you, listening to our customers, um, and kind of continuing to build out our product and our solution and make it better. And I'm really happy to be able to share with you kind of how we handle visual documentation. So everyone should be able to see my screen. On the right-hand side, I have my phone app. This is live. As I interact with it, you should be able to um, see what I'm doing. And on the left-hand side of the screen is that same claim, but in our web view. And what I'll do is I'm gonna switch over to our activity feed. So those that are in the office that need to track what's happening on a claim or review what's happened on a claim, this activity feed is great. It summarizes everything that goes on. And because we have um, online mode and we synchronize everything automatically, as I follow this documentation, you'll see it start to populate uh, on this claim. So in this claim, um, what I've done is set up a few things. I've done a floor plan previously on this job. We have other webinars um, that uh, walk through how we do floor plans. So that's great. Um, we can send those links out to others that, that want to see it. I've done exterior photo as I'd normally show up to a job, um, documenting exterior photo, any pre-existing damage on that exterior. And of course, I got a work authorization signed all within the N Circle, N -Circle app. Um, now let's move on to documenting. So this is gonna be uh, a walk through a very simple kind of water loss. Uh, in this case, it is um, a burst pipe kind of this thing. So if I follow um, kind of the homeowner, once I get to the job, I'm gonna leave the screen here, but you should be able to follow along everything with me. Um, I'm gonna go into, into the bathroom. And uh, the first thing that we usually wanna do is document um, the source of loss. So what I'm going to do here is actually go into general notes. So on the home screen, you can see there I'm highlighting in orange is general notes. And if I hit the plus button, pull up a general note. But what I want to do is leverage the note template that Leah talked about. So just above the keyboard, you see three icons. I'm going to click the third one that has a paper clip on it. And this pulls up our note template. So this is where within your organization at NCircle, you can predefine how you want certain notes to show up on every job. In this case, I've set up one for cause of loss so the, or source of loss. Um, so what is the reason for the loss? You know, in this case, we have a burst pipe under a vanity in the ensuite. There we go. And let me take a photo. So what I'll do here is take a photo, you know, obviously pretend that there's water here. Not that. And if I want, I can quickly preview that photo. And Leah talked about a photo markup feature. So you can see here on the bottom with markup. If I just tap that, this brings us into our markup phase. I can change the color that I want. I want a freehand. Let's just say, okay, here's where the burst pipe was in the sink. Save that. I'm happy with that image. Now, if I go back to my note, there we go. I can now say, okay, so this is a category one because it's a clean supply line. Um, the affected areas that we have are we have an ensuite. Um, and master, oops, there we go. Master bedroom, great. Next steps, actually I can come back and fill in those next steps as I want to assess the property. So let's save that note for now. The next thing we want to do is um, something that we've been talking about for a while is take kind of an overview video of the loss. Um, this is a great way to explain kind of what's been happening, capture all that information in one video for either your team your estimator or even adjuster to understand what's happening on the, on the site. Um, I like to contain these overview videos within general note as well, because it's at the claim level. So if I do that again, I'll hit plus. 
And then I'll use the note template. So again, the third icon with the paper clip on it. There we go. I have an overview video um, general note um, template. And in here, I've kind of outlined, here's all the things that I would want my team to talk about in this overview, overview video. So introduce yourself. What's an overview of happening? Uh, damage assessment, any safety concerns? Um, when we can share a bunch of this information, this will be in that report that Leah talked about. This will give your team an idea of what what um, what they should um, cover in the video. So let me take a quick overview video here. So I open up the camera uh, and then click video in the bottom corner and let's start recording. Hi, this is Sean Coughlin, I'm project manager here at N Circle Restoration. Uh, I'm at um, property in Kitchener, Ontario, where there's been a burst pipe in this ensuite bathroom. Water's kind of drained out here onto the floor. It's actually come in and affected the carpet here in the master bedroom. In terms of work that we need to do, um, the homeowner, um, when they caught this, they dried up as much of the water as they could. So we'll have to clean the rest of that up. Probably do two foot flood cut in the walls around the bathroom. You can see here that the tile doesn't go under the vanity. It goes up against it. So we may have to look underneath here to see if there's any damages. Um, coming out here, we'll have to place DQ and air movers to circulate the air. Because the carpet got wet out here, do some extraction and probably put a couple air movers to get that going. Um, things that we don't know about is on the other side of this wall here is the kitchen area. We have to see if water's uh, creeped out over there. And underneath here is a bathroom and a utility room. So we'll have to check those for uh, further damage. There you go, that's a very simple overview photo. And as you do it and as your team does it, they'll get used to having, having to do it. And as they do it, you can actually use it as a training exercise to help educate and train them on how best to do kind of these overview, um, overview videos to explain everything. So now what I wanna do is get into documenting the room. So this is a two room loss. We have an ensuite and we have a master bedroom. So I'm gonna start with the ensuite. So what I wanna do is hit the add room button on the home screen. Now I'm gonna create Ensuite, there we go. And this lands me in the room. So the first thing I want to do is create overview photo. So if I hit the plus button in the bottom corner and then add a photo, it'll take me to the camera. So what we want to try to do best practices is when you get into a room, um, kind of take four to six photos as much as possible, kind of left to right in the room to capture all the work that you can and all the space. Move around here. There we go. Let me get a close up shower. One of the back wall. The other thing you can do now is since I'm already in the camera, uh, Leah talked about this uh, room selector feature. So in the up on the very top of the screen where you see ensuite, there's a down arrow. If I tap that, it'll pull up all the rooms that I have on the claim, and I can quickly jump to any of those rooms and start taking photos. In this case, the master or, or the primary bedroom isn't there, so I can hit add. I'll click master right there. And already, I'm already in the camera, ready to take photos of this room. So if I go in the corner here, and again, start snapping these photos, left to right, get as much coverage. I think you guys get the idea. Two more, there we go. Great, now I'm back in the master bedroom. There you go, you can see everything is done. So now in that quick um, couple minutes, I've done an overview video, I've documented the source of loss, and I've done overview photos of both rooms that have been affected, uh, that I know that have been affected. The next thing that we wanna do from this initial inspection is uh, add some details about each room. So let's go create a note in the room. So if you hit notes on the top, you can see any note that's happened. We don't have any here. So if I hit the plus button, and then I hit add room note, there we go. Again, I've created a note template. So if I hit the paper clip icon, there we go. Room details. So I'm in the bedroom. So let's do this. So ceiling height, we have eight feet. There we go. Um, we have window in here. I've pre-measured this. So this is kind of 55 by 40. Um, the door dimensions was 80 by 30. Okay, the wall materials, we have drywall. There you go, fixed furniture. There's none in the master bedroom. Um, oops, the wall, that should be, you have that duplicated, that's all right. You can, and as you can see, if there's duplication, you can edit anything that's already in the note template. 
Ceiling is drywall as well. Um, flooring we have here is carpet. And then trim is simple pine. What we can also do is attach photos of each of the things that we've talked about. So in this case, let's take a picture of a photo uh, of the window, picture of the door. And in that same picture, you get captured um, the wall, the ceiling, and the carpet as well. So if I have done, there we go. We now have uh, a note within the master bedroom describing the details. And the last thing I want to do on these jobs, we can do, we'll do the same thing kind of in, in the bathroom. I'll skip over that. But another thing that um, a lot of contractors and we recommend to people is documenting um, pre existing damages. Again, we're going to leverage a note template for that. So if I hit the plus button when I'm inside the room, I hit add a, um, add a note, and then the note template button, which is the paperclip icon. There we go. I have pre existing damage. I give instructions to my team on how to do that. So I know that there's some damage. I noticed that you can see here, there's a kind of crack up here in the wall. So what I wanna do for pre-existing damage to make it easy, I wanna add photo preview on. So if you see in the upper left-hand corner of the camera app, you'll see kind of this eye with a crop to it. If I tap that, photo preview is now on. So what this means is when I take a photo, you get to review the photo that you've just taken. And we automatically put you into photo markup that allows you to now um, circle or identify anything, any damage that you've now seen in that room. So there we go. I think that was all the damage that I had in this room. Let's save that. So there we go. Those are kind of the main steps that we wanted to walk through um, in terms of that initial setup. As you can see here, you've seen this steady stream of all the data coming back into the office right away from, um, from the claim. Now, I think the last thing, Leah, that we wanted to touch on was how do we generate a report? I'll do that on the web because it's much easier to see. So I go into the web and go to overview. If I scroll down on the overview screen, um, you'll see here kind of our report section. We have documents, generate a report. Um, we have multiple brands. So here's our PDF report. Um, and we actually want to do the, in this case, the end circle PDF report. So this is the report that comes with every single account where we organize all the data that we take on the claim. Um, you have options of selecting multiple things. We'll just do everything. Once that comes up, there we go. I'll we'll call this initial site inspection. I can add a cover photo. I'll use one of the exterior photos that I've used, um, attachments. In this case, I could attach the work authorization if I'm sharing this with um, the adjuster that wants to make sure um, that's been signed off. Um, I can now go through and see all the notes, general notes that I wanna add. So I'm gonna keep both of the overview and the source of law. Um, I wanna have the floor plan added, all the rooms and all the photos and notes that I took. So we have the exterior um, with the elevation photos pre-existing. In the ensuite, we have pre-existing damage plus the overview photos. And in the master bedroom, in this case, we did overview plus the room details. So let's generate that report. Um, once that happens, again, this happens pretty uh, uh, right away, usually pretty quickly. Um, so you'll get a notification in the app that it's begun processing. Um, one thing that I did want to show you that we, we didn't show you before that Leah touched on is kind of the, the metadata that we now put in, in our photos. So you can see here, um, when I go into any photo, and this works on both web and on mobile, and actually if I pause, you can see that the document is now completed. Um, when you look at a photo, you kind of get this information panel that shows you who on your team took it and when they took it. If you hit the I, you expand that out, that tells you where in the room it was taken. Um, so what if you have multiple structures and what room, um, the name of the company that took it. So if you have a subcontractor working with on within your claim, you'll see their name. Uh, and then also GPS location. So if I open up a map, um, it'll take you right to where that photo was taken. So adding that data integrity and showing the proof of the work that you really did and where, where that work was, was actually done. So now if I jump back to, here's the report. I'm in the activity feed. I can see that the report was generated. If I open that up, you can download it here or you can preview it with an end circle. Um, all the information I had was filled out. Here's the photo, a nice layout of the table of contents, the attachments that we were there. 
And then from here, here's the data. Here's the story of the loss laid out. What was the source of loss? Um, the overview video, you can remove the instructions before you share it with someone. We want to keep it in here for, for everyone's learning today. You have a link to the video. So if they click on that, it'll open up the video and they have access to it right away from, from within the claim. Uh, oops, I can't get back. There we go. The floor plan there and all the photos and notes for each room perfectly laid out. Um, so as Leah said, this is kind of the magic that we bring is this auto organization of the data in rooms located in real space and then creating a beautiful report that really tells the story of the law and of the work that you've, you've done on the law. There you go, Leah, I think that's a good 10, 15 minute overview of that initial site inspection um, using kind of the variety of visual documentation and camera tools that we've launched um, over the last little while at M Circle. Um, we have had a couple of questions coming in that I've been trying to answer as we go, um, but there's a few that I think are, are better served for, for you to answer. But before we get to those, is there anything that you, um, as product management leader, <laughs> would like to share as to sort of what's coming in the next couple of months um, with regards to visual documentation and, and what, what we're looking at improving? Yeah, I think with um, you know visual documentation, what we're what we're looking at doing, as you've seen, we've added a whole lot of effort into our camera, um, whether that's photo markup, um, photo preview, um, room selector, things we're looking at adding as uh, a few things around managing photos. Um, so right now, with an insert, you can move a photo between rooms. We're going to expand that to be able to do multiple photos. So if you've accidentally taken a whole bunch of photos in a single room, you'll be able to move that. So we'll see that coming up in the next few months. Our notes right now, we're gonna add some editing ability so you can bold and italicize notes, make some of those pop out a lot more. So really tell that story uh, in the way that you want to do. We're also looking at other ways to improve the camera quality themselves. Can we reduce the size of the image while increasing um, the quality? There's a lots of technologies out there and we're continuing to dig on that and refine that experience. Um, we're also looking at ways of um, creating kind of photos that can capture the entire, the entire space. Um, all within end circle. Um, so continuing on what we've done with floor plan where we capture the dimensions all in one place. We're looking at being able to do something similar with our photo app and just give everyone more tools within end circle to capture everything they need um, for those that need it, whether it's um, the project manager, the estimator or or the adjuster. Awesome, thank you. Um, and while you're sh still sharing your, your mobile app here, um, we had somebody ask if you're able to generate um, the report from the mobile app. So maybe you could just um, show them how you could do that same report generated yeah, from the mobile app. I think you can see my, my mouse here. So on the yep. mobile app, if you're on the claim home, you see documents. If you click on that, uh, you can see here, here's the initial report that I just created, but you can do that on mobile. So if you generate report, like that and go PDF report. Uh, this will be a list of all the reports, including custom forms. So we offer the ability to create custom forms for you. Um, but in terms of the report that I just created, it's the N Circle PDF report. I can do that. It's a very similar workflow, select everything. I can add kind of, we'll say this V2 inspection. Um, you want table of contents. It's all similar information. And now if you want to um, kind of edit the report, you click edit report content. And this takes you into a very similar screen that you saw on web, but obviously formatted for mobile where you can select all your general notes, you can um, scroll down, see the floor plans, you know, take off any floor plan that you want, select, unselect individual photos, which you can do on web as well. Um, go down, remove any notes, and then hit save. So anything that you can do on web, for the most part, you can do also on mobile. Attach document, add a photo cover and a description, and you hit save. And if I go over here while that generates, um, once it's completed generating, it'll sync back up into the cloud. You can see that live, that even while it's processing, we sync that status with the activity um, activity feed on web, and then you get access to both of those instantly from here. And if you wanted to, you can click into the report, and then you can share it right from your phone. So if you need to email it to your estimator, email it to your adjuster right away, you can do that directly here, or because we have the policy holder or your customer's information in NCircle, you can send it to the email that you have on file for that policy holder as well. Just trying to make it easy to create the data you need and share it however you need to share it. 
Perfect. And Sean, again, while you have it open, somebody asked um, if you, sorry, the chat's just, I'm losing my spot. Um, if you're able to open up that report um, uh, on web, let's go, let's go on web. Sure, of course. Um, so open up the report. I believe it's it contains that video that you created. Can you just show what that would look like to the person reviewing this report? Yeah, of course. So when you look at the video, you'll see the note, um, whether it's a note or just a video within a room. Uh, what you'll see is, uh, oops, that one doesn't have it. Give me a second. Pull this in. Roll up here. There we go. What you'll get is in the report, you get a thumbnail. So the report is not embedded in the PDF. PDF doesn't allow you to embed full video in there. But when you click on that, this will take you out to a secure media link within the NCircle um, servers. And from there, whoever's viewing um, the video will then get access to that video. Um, they can jump forward throughout the video. They can watch the whole thing. And they also get access to that metadata that we collect on the video as well. Great. Um, we have about three minutes left, so time for a couple more questions. Um, one, this is a roadmap question, Sean. Does NCircle have, sorry, I lost it. Um, does NCircle have plans to change things for Apple users so we don't have to give access to our entire photo library in order to use our app? Uh, not at this time. Um, I don't want to speak out of turn. We are limited to what the Apple development SDKs allow us to do. Um, we can take that back. I'm not sure we're able to actually do anything or if all we have access to via the SDK is one photo or or everything kind of at this time. Um, it is based on what uh, what's available through the, the Apple platform. Okay, great. Um, so and to be sure, we do not creep your phone and look at photos. That just means if you want to add a photo, um, to a claim, you have this ability to pull from your device gallery. So we need access to the device gallery to be able to download download photos um, kind of as necessary. So um, that's why if for some reason you had a photo on your on your device, um, that's why we're kind of asking, asking that photo or that question. Uh, last question that just came in. Um... Oh, lots, lots of questions coming in, but um, someone is asking how you're, how you're, what program you're using to show your mobile app here. Oh, uh, show my mobile app. Uh, I'm a Windows person. So within Windows, there's an app, Windows 11 now called Phone Link. Uh, you install it on my Android device. I'm pretty sure it works for iOS as well. You just open it up and then the magic of the internet connects, connects the two together. I'm not sure how it works, but it works quite well. So it's actually just mirror, it's mirroring your phone. This isn't like, your. Correct. this isn't. Um, a fake a fake mobile app that you're showing. Nope, yeah. that's correct. Yeah, this is uh, this is my phone here. Uh, you can see that I got lost. And if I open up the app, it happens in real time. So it is real. I'm not that good of a magician to, to do that. <laughs> okay, awesome. So Sean, if you're able to go back to the um, of course. the slideshow, um, we are. We are at time, so I just want to remind everyone, um, we do have a monthly newsletter. Um, we put out a, a lot of content. We do a lot of webinars, um, thought leadership webinars. Uh, we are making a, a, a larger effort to host more of these shorter um, product-based webinars. Um, so if you want to keep up to date on what we're, what we're delivering, um, please subscribe to our newsletter. Um, so you get any product updates, industry insights, exclusive content, and then as well as those upcoming events. So um, scan the QR code and um, and you can subscribe to our newsletter so you don't miss out on anything. And then speaking of upcoming events, um, if you want more of a deep dive into the NCircle app um, and more training, um, our customer success managers are hosting a live training um, in English uh, on the NCircle app on July 8th. So coming up in, in a couple of weeks. Um, as well as uh, for our French customers, um, we are hosting a French training um, on the 22nd of July. Um, so if you're interested in, in participating in that, those are all available on our upcoming events on our website as well. Um, so thank you. If I wasn't able to get to all of your questions today, I apologize. And I also promised a copy of that report. Um, my computer is just not functioning for me. So I'm not able to actually upload it into Zoom. So that report will get sent out. We will make sure it gets sent out after with the recording um, 
in the next day or two. Um, so I apologize that I'm not able to upload it here, um, but we will send that out with the with the email that comes with the recording afterwards. So thank you so much um, for attending, and um, we hope to see you at our next our next webinar. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.